Well, we could rename these teams David and Goliath, but David did beat Goliath. I wonder whether we're going to get that sort of upset today, Alan. Well, they've got nothing to lose. I mean, it's their attitude that will count. Are they going to just put 11 men behind the ball or are they going to have a go? The match today is England versus Slovenia. This is the England side today. Kieran Trippier starts with Danny Rose as the fullbacks, and they've gone with two up front today. And as for the opposition, this is their starting 11. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could... can put them in front here. Really good defending. If he hadn't touched it, it was a goal. Now, one of the keepers thanking him for that bit of closing down by his defender. Well, these two players, perhaps we picked out as the likely candidates to keep a special eye on, Alan Smith. Well, we've earmarked these two because... It's a very good interception. Kieran Trippier. Ruben Loftus-Cheek. With good vision. And now the shot! Good block. Some options now for the pass. He's got his shot off now. What a dive to reach it and make the save. One of the saves of the season so far. In goes the corner. Oh, that's good defending. The to put them in front. Oh, the strikers stopped there as they broke away. Good defending. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Cut it out. He's through. It's opened up. Great work by the goalkeeper. The ball is his and he's made sure he's protected it. defenders between them and the goal but they still got the ball it's a good place to win the ball here it looked on to really go at the opposition then but they wasted the opportunity poor on the ball the referee had a good look at that decided it's just a throw after the tackle Lost his cheek. Rose. Well, he's got some room out here in the wide position. Rather hoisted into the middle, way over his teammates. Ruben lost his cheek. Fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of uninterrupted. Shot on! Tried to find the winning ticket in the raffle, but a couple of numbers short. Yes, he took it early though. Kieran Trippier. We're at half time then, the referee's whistle goes and. <laughs> Wembley Stadium and sit back in it for the start of the second half. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. Shots on here. Goalkeeper's done well.
steady at best in the first 45 minutes, still 45 minutes to go, of course. Didn't quite have the impact I was expecting at the start, but time to remedy that. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. And shoots! And the goalkeeper makes the save. And they've spread it out wide here. In quickly. And he bangs it away. So we'll restart with a throw in. It's time for some fresh legs here. It is a great fixture with a wonderful history and the usual hype has been building all week long. The stadium is full and the fans are getting to fever pitch.
It's match time. Martin Tyler here and Alan Smith with you as always to describe it. And we're looking forward to something special today. Well, I think so, Martin. I hope these two teams won't disappoint us. And today it's Napoli. And they face AC Milan. It's Napoli's lineup. Jose Callejon starts looking to continue his great form in midfield. And the last player on the team sheet. Is... And here's the shot. Now we have a corner to come via that deflection. Wilinski. Insigne. It's not really a way. Poor clearance. Thomas Muller. Muller. Oh, he could be in. Muller! And Milan given the corner by the referee. Here comes the corner. Can put them in front here. Insigne. It's with Danilo. Excellent interception. Wonderful interception. And he can clear it here. And it's gone out for a throw. It's with Danilo. That's a great interception. Easy work for the keeper here. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Guiding it through. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. Oh, that's great work by the goalkeeper. Oh, it's an offside decision. Well, the players can't believe it, and neither can the crowd, but it's the right decision. And it's going to be his throw here. Goal news from San Siro, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Inter. 21 minutes played, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Suso, now with Thomas Muller, in with a chance, great work by the goalkeeper, the ball is his and he's made sure he's protected it. There's a chance playing at home to extend this run of two consecutive victories into three. Yeah, and the way they played in those previous two, I, I can see them making it three as well. Shot on! He's way off target. Didi. It's unlike him really to play the ball straight to the opposition. Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. Milan trying to get into their stride here. Now this is an interesting attack. Fulinski. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Saw that coming and intercepted. Here's a chance to just stretch the opposition with a bit of width. Muller, shot blocked here. Good distance to the clearance then. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. It's Eric Dyer. Jose Callahan. Milik, Kielinski, coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. The shot's up, Callahan. He's reached up and turned it over. They've had to do a lot of defending this team over the last, uh, what, 10, 15 minutes, but on the front foot they could go ahead here. It's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Now Callahan, Insigne, building steadily here, keeping possession. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. And that's dealt with the problem.
striding forward purposefully Muller oh, what a tackle to break up the play well that is half time Well, this is the uh, second half now, and it's underway. And he bangs it away. Tielemans. Suso. A great chance to go in front. And they have done. Oh, that could be a big goal, because this side knows how to defend a lead. Oh, just fell perfectly for him. Couldn't miss from that. No, he couldn't. Point blank effort. But uh, you have got to be in the positions, haven't you, to miss them. The old saying goes true. Well, Milan are ahead. Goal news now from Stadio Olimpico. Alamacanali. It's a second goal for Lazio. 52 minutes played. 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Melek! Such a chance to get level. Oh, I'm not sure he's going to get many better. Good evening on what is, I regret to have to report, a pretty unpleasant night. The rain has been lashing down here. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary, as always, is Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to. It is Basel facing Milan. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Goosebumps, that's the only word I can think of. I always get goosebumps on European nights, watching under floodlights. I wish I was down there, but... Second best place is up here with you, Derek. Champions League nights are always special. I can't wait for this one. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Will there be a tangible end product? A brisk start and a quick goal. Well, the manager would have said, keep it tight at the back and see if we can nick an early goal. And they certainly have done. Well, let's see that again. Oh, he's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power, he's got the accuracy, and now he's got himself a goal. 
So the game has been restarted. It's Milan in front here. Ayeti. Samueli Campo in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Ayose Perez. Ndidi. And Ayose Perez with it. Given away by Milan. Campo in possession. Is he going to punish them here? Carrying a genuine threat here. Goalkeeper's ball. And was always going to be. Milan have lost the ball. They've given it away. Now Ndidi. Campo in possession. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Tielemans. Milan have lost the ball. Bua. Here's Tielemans, given away by the Rossoneri. Well, let's see, does he mean business? Well, can he make this move count? It wasn't far away from the target, Lee. No, it was decent. Really, really decent chance for the lad. They'll keep pushing away to try and get that equaliser. Albian Ayeti. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. Just drifted into the illegal position, offside, in the opinion of the officials. It's with Mendy. Given away. And in with a real chance. Only the keeper to beat. And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. Well, going two behind at this stage in the game would have been very difficult. Goalkeeper's kept his team in it. And meat and drink to the goalkeeper. Now, what can he do here? And a good-looking ball. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. A header it was, but a pretty straightforward save, Lee. Well, it's an easy header, Derek, and he made it look really difficult. Plenty of running room in the wide position. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Luca Zufi. And so it is, the first half story has been... Off and running in the second half then, Milan with the advantage. Suso. Campo in possession. Not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? No real threat, you've got to say. Now, indeed, he has plenty of support. He had the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. A foul, but advantage played. It is a decent-looking attack here. 
He's gone for power, Lee, but it's wide. Well, no real direction, but the power was there. And you're right, it's just gone past the post. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Yeah. Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good-looking move. And here's Nzidi. And dispossessed. Samueli Campo. Tielemans. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. A highly purposeful attack, this. The emphasis on getting the ball forward. Carrying a genuine threat here. And great use of the ball to keep possession. It's with Kevin Bua. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Given away by the Rossoneri. Given away by Milan. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. It is to be a throw-in. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And now Juan Jesus. Zufi has it. Regaining possession for his side, cleverly. Will there be a tangible end product? Well, great read there to intercept. Well, let's see, does he mean business? Inside the final five minutes now. Given away by the Rossoneri. Lost into the penalty area. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. And he has been ruled offside here. Can't have been by an awful lot. Oh, I'm not so sure, but the linesman's got a better view than I have. Indeedy. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Possession lost by Basel. The end of the story tonight.